in this video, we're going to address three principles of uh, building to high performance, which is thermal bridging, air sealing, and moisture control. Right now, you can see that as we talked in uh, other videos, we have a slab edge insulation throughout the perimeter. This serves as control uh, thermal bridging and increasing the thermal performance of the home. But this particular high density fiberglass also allows for uh, to create kind of like a break in the capillary effect and, and keeps water out from entering the home. As we move through this detail, talking about air sealing, you see that we have a six sheathing tape that we're putting to minimize the chances of air moving into the house through the bottom of the uh, six sheathing board. Now this gap that you see here, it's going to be eventually covered with uh, with uh, this fiberglass insulation. You want a continuous insulation uh, butting against uh, the sip sheeting. As we continue uh, looking at this cross section, you can see right here that we use a uh, what it's called a seal seal. This also uh, acts as a moisture control for capillary effects. And then when caught from the inside, uh, air seal. Then you can see the two by six, which the entire house is done by uh, using advanced framing technique. And what's unique on this, uh, on thermal performance and thermal bridging, is that we're using the Hubert R panel. You can see that we've got an inch of polyiso and then our, their sip sheathing that gives us outstanding energy performance from the home. And to continue on the building assembly in terms of moisture, all this, as we'll see in other videos, are gonna be treated with a home sleeker by Benjamin Updike, and I'm gonna simulate the detail uh, to uh, show you how we're controlling that moisture that could potentially get behind the siding. Basically, at the bottom, we'll have a metal flashing like this that goes uh, this way okay and we're going to be siliconing at the top attaching it and, and adding silicone then the home slicker by benjamin Updike is going to sit right over the on top of it i don't have a box screen here but the bottom of this is going to be treated with a imagine this is a bog bog screen it's going to slide right here because you don't want bugs to crawl into that uh space okay and then once we have the assembly like that our siding is going to sit like that a little bit maybe three out of eighth of an inch above the uh, metal uh, flashing to allow air in this case you do want air to get behind the siding to dry up any moisture that could be potentially trapped behind the siding because on the soffit we're going to also leave a little gap like that to allow that uh, that uh, shoot effect, okay, stack effect for drying whatever water or moisture might potentially get trapped on the behind the wall. So in this video, to recap, we talked about moisture control, thermal bridging, advanced framing techniques, and air sealing techniques. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching.